In this presentation, we're going to discuss some indicators and contraindications for radiographic examination of the urinary system with contrast, as well as procedural and pre-exam preparation recommendations. Contrast studies of the urinary system are performed to demonstrate the renal parenchyma, and to do so effectively, contrast media is needed, followed by imaging either by x-ray or computed tomography. Two filling techniques can be utilized to visualize the urinary system, antegrade and retrograde. Lower concentrations are required for bladder studies because of the larger amount required to fill the bladder, and higher concentrations are used for excretory urography. Non-ionic media is less likely to cause an adverse reaction compared to ionic contrast media. Preparation should call for clear demonstration of the urinary system and requires the intestinal tract to be free of gas and fecal material. Bowel preparation is not attempted in infants and children. Adult preparation depends on the patient condition. When time permits, a low residue diet for one to two days before the examination should be planned. A light evening meal on the day before the examination combined with non-gas forming laxative when indicated the day before the exam. Nothing by mouth after midnight the day of the examination, and the patient should be well hydrated. Hydration is particularly important for patients with diabetes, multiple myeloma, and high uric acid levels. These conditions put patients at risk for contrast medium-induced renal failure if dehydrated. For retrograde urography, where contrast is injected via cannula inserted through the urethra into the bladder, and into the distal end of the ureter, the patient should drink four to five cups of water several hours before the exam. No preparation is usually required for examinations of the lower urinary tract. A standard radiographic room sufficient for excretory urography and most retrograde studies of the bladder and urethra. A combination of cystoscopic and radiographic units is needed for retrograde urographic procedures that require cystography. A tomography unit is required for infusion nephrography. Time interval and body position markers should also be used for these procedures, and a sufficient number of properly sized image receptors should be available. Make sure the emergency card is nearby, and check to make sure it's been stocked. You should always know the location of the cart in case of a contrast reaction, where seconds could mean a lot in the administration of drugs to counteract anaphylaxis. Make sure you have all of your venipuncture supplies available as well, as long as any equipment you may anticipate needing for motion control, such as immobilization and ureteral compression. In excretory urography, compression is sometimes applied over the distal ends of the ureters. The purpose of compression is to disrupt the flow of opacified urine into the bladder to ensure filling of the renal pelvis and calyces. Compression can be centered over the level of the anterior superior iliac spine. Apply and remove slowly to reduce patient discomfort that can be caused by changes in intra-abdominal pressure. Compression is contraindicated in patients with urinary stones, abdominal mass, aortic aneurysm, colostomy, suprapubic catheter, and traumatic injuries. Preliminary examination should include a scout KUB, Contrast and density will be the same as for abdominal radiographs with soft tissues of the kidneys, the lower borders of the liver, and the lateral margin of the psoas muscles that must be identified. It's extremely important to inform the patient of sensations caused by contrast injection. This usually feels like a very warm, flush feeling that goes through your entire body and sometimes includes the taste of copper in the mouth. It's normal to feel this during a contrast injection for a few moments after. Exposure should be made at the end of expiration unless otherwise requested. Because of kidney excursion during respiration, it is possible to differentiate kidneys from other shadows by making exposure on different phases of respiration. Images should be marked if exposed on phase of respiration other than expiration. The Scout AP radiograph supine position demonstrates the location of the kidneys, their contour, and opaque calculi if present and also serves to check gastrointestinal tract preparation and exposure factors.